As Russell Crowe says in the film Gladiator, a clip I regularly play for my staff, hold the line. Lady Thatcher and I have been communing about national conservatism and this new movement, and I am happy to report that she is totally on board. Uh, national conservatism, I would like to draw your attention to a few characteristics of fascism. <laughs> philosophical musings or policy proposals will amount to anything long-lasting unless we address the one overarching threat to British conservatism. No, it's not climate change. It's not Russia or China or Iran. It's not the neo-Marxist ideology that has so weakened our institutions. There is one critical outcome that liberal individualism has completely failed to deliver, and that is babies. This is in some ways still a controversial thing to say, but I see no reason why every other country in the world should be prevented from feeling pride in itself because the Germans mucked up twice in a century. We distinguish ourselves from the leader of the left, Sir Keir Starmer, and he'll campaign on next year as a man of great principle. Although given his definition of a woman, we can't rule him out from running to be Labour's first female prime minister. I think the left can only sell its vision for the future by making people feel terrible about our past. White people do not exist in a special state of sin or collective guilt. Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, um, I would like to draw your attention to a few characteristics of fascism. <laughs> well, there we go, our jolly good fellow has had to leave, but we believe... Lady Thatcher and I have been communing about national conservatism and this new movement, and I am happy to report that she is totally on board. She urges us, actually she insists, that we be as bold, determined, and counter-elite as she was in a different epoch, and not be cowed even if the Guardian calls us divisive.